Hello, hello, and welcome to this Get Ready With Me edition of a product review slash talking about growing old gracefully. So first, because it's not going to be until, you know, final stages, this Benefit Bang Mascara looks amazing. 36 hour full blast volume. I picked this up at, uh, at Ulta this weekend and every saleswoman in the store had the Lash Paradise on one eye and this Benefit Bang on the other and this one was very good and this one was like shabam in your face phenomenal and I had to have it because I don't hate my eyelashes I know I am more gifted than others in that department however Without wearing false eyelashes, I still want as much bang for my buck as possible. And so I am a little bit obsessive about what mascara I'm using. So I'm super excited about that. And I want to talk about aging gracefully. Some of the lessons that I've learned, I am about to turn 40 in one month. And these are some of the lessons that I have learned over the course of my life. I need to be getting ready. You're getting ready with me. Why are you making me stop and just talk? So these are some of the lessons that I've learned just over the course of my life in doing things right. And other things that I wish like crazy that I would have done right. So I just kind of wanted to go through a list of, of what I have found in my life to be true for um, aging with grace and with dignity and looking fabulous the entire time which clearly is arguable because you know you can see me without makeup right now I've already moisturized my face this morning just because um, I'm just telling you that because that's what people do who do get ready with me videos and uh, I'm one of those people today just today just today, I'm also excited because I also picked up um, the Tarte Shape Tape Under Eye Concealer, which I'm super pumped about because I am the last person on earth not to have tried it yet. So, I know it's been around forever, I know it's the best of the best, and I hope that I love it as much as everyone else. That is my hope because I was blessed with uh, the genetics of like bags and darkness under my eyes and you know most days I just roll with it but it does get old and if I can find a concealer that kind of helps mask a little bit of that then the more the merrier <laughs> so I'm excited about that okay so first tip in aging gracefully is and this is maybe not the most politically correct way to start it is maintaining throughout your life a certain weight maintaining a healthy weight throughout your life um, you know granted we have children we we gain um, clearly we gain weight when we are pregnant but having a nice steady weight throughout our lives and taking care of ourselves in that way instead of uh, kind of a it just kind of happens I see friends and loved ones and and people that I meet who um, were healthy and active and uh, a healthy weight whether they were overweight on a little bit underweight or just a nice healthy you know middle of the road maintainable weight in high school and in college but then they get married and kids come and you know health problems happen and all kinds of stuff happens in life that as adults cause us to derail a bit and some of that is because we have time crunch issues and ah, sharp tart shape tape I'm so excited um, some of it is legitimate time crunch issues and some of it quite honestly is just that we get lazy and um, oh, I hope this is fabulous we get lazy and it's just not cool it's not cool and it's not healthy and 
you will see that the if you will look out at the people that you most admire in the way that they have aged, you will see that looking over their years and lives and looking through their Facebook pictures or whatever, that, that those who maintained a really steady weight for the majority of their lives tend to be healthier looking and just have aged a little bit more gracefully. It's not as harsh. Now, that is not to say that I, I want to put this caveat out there that I'm not knocking anyone who loses track over the years and gets back in shape and gets back to a healthy weight. That is wonderful. It's fabulous. We're talking best case scenario here of aging, of aging mo the most gently that we can. So that is where we're coming from today. This is not to throw any hate on anyone who doesn't follow every single one of these because neither do I. Okay. Okay. Next one. And this is one that certainly has just been a part of my life kind of by default because I am so incredibly fair skinned and frickly, but wear sunblock, wear sunblock every day, wear sunblock in your foundation, wear sunblock in your sense, in your moisturizer, wear sunblock in your, um, on your arms and any exposed skin, whether it is summertime or not, wear sunblock. It is so critical to protect the skin from from doing this this nasty thing called aging that just happens at such a rapid pace whenever the sun is exposed to our skin at all times. So I know that a golden glow is so lovely and beautiful and I know that even with I know that even with you know, more modern false sun tan options, uh, you know, lotions and spray on and stuff. They've come a long way, but they still look like, like fake tan. They're not orange like they were when I was a kid, which is a good thing because that looked crazy, but they're still fake tan and it's still clearly a fake tan. I just want to encourage you to protect your skin whether you want a little bit of color on there or not, protect your skin and age so much more gracefully instead of turning yourself into like a leather handbag. Just protect your skin with sunblock. It will help you age so much more gently. You know, nobody wants to, nobody wants to look in the mirror in 20 years and think, wow, I really wish that I would have protected the skin because now I have to look at it all the time and now I have to buy special products to make it look better. Nobody wants to do that. We're going to be buying those products anyway, but why not start with a, a little bit better, more even toned, more uh, less wrinkled canvas. So, all right, number three moisturize moisturize your skin and not just your face moisturize your entire body every single day every single day every single time you get out of the shower moisturize your body and i really recommend as much as as wonderful as they are uh steering clear of the heavily perfumed and scented moisturizers um primarily because i i don't really like putting stuff Okay, I'm sitting here putting tons of makeup on that I wouldn't eat. But I have a problem with lotions and creams and things that I am putting on my entire body and that aren't always the, the most gentle ingredients. So I, th I believe that something a little bit more natural is better for all over your skin. Uh, another really, really great one that I just love and I still haven't outgrown is Johnson's just baby lotion. I mean, if it's, it's gentle on babies, it's wonderful for them. It keeps your skin moist and wonderful. The big thing is, you know, it's just a matter of, of taste and what you like and what kind of weight uh, you like to have on your skin. But 
moisturize every day. Every time you get out of the shower, put put some some moisturizer on. Every time that you are doing your makeup, moisturize. Every time that you are coming in out of the sun and cleaning up, you just you have to. It just will make such a huge difference to prevent that that dry like it's not scaly. It's almost like a weird deflated balloon that your skin starts doing as you get older. Like, um, oh, it's just, it's disturbing is what it is. I'm 40. It start, it's, it's, I see it. It happens. It happens on me. It happens on other people. I wish that I would have, I took really good care of my face and my neck and my chest and my arms, but I wish like crazy that I had been better at moisturizing my legs every single day of my life. They are still lovely legs. I love my legs, but they could have been more moisturized. That's what I got to say about that. So moisturize, 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 and then just when you think you've got enough, moisturize a little bit more. Hydrate. My next tip is hydrate because you need to stay hydrated. As much as I love my coffee, you need to steer clear of the caffeinated beverages as much as possible. The, the energy drinks, the sports drinks, the, all of the stuff that just zaps your um, body of its moisture is incredibly unhealthy. You need to moisturize with water. I mean, hydrate with water. Moisturize from the inside. Hydrate with water. Hydrate with water-packed veggies and good stuff like that. You need to hydrate with um, decaffeinated teas. And there are tons of really tasty options if you just get sick to death of water, which I get, you know, adding lemon, adding cucumbers, adding oranges, adding limes, all of this stuff helps, but it's still a lot of water. So the best rule of thumb that I've heard for the amount of water that we should take in is if you take your pounds in your weight in pounds, you split that number in half and that number that you split in half in ounces is the amount of water that you should take in every day. So, I just thought that was a really good rule of thumb and uh, I've been trying to live by it and I've always been a good water drinker though so I don't necessarily struggle with it but I still can tell a huge difference in my eyes in my skin in my hands and in how much they're cracking in the winters right now they are cracking like crazy because I've been drinking way too much hot coffee because in the morning sitting at my desk I'm cold and I want my hot coffee so Hydrate, hydrate, I'm gonna get this eyeliner on because I really wanna get to this mascara. Okay, hydrate, 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 and then hydrate some more. All right, next tip, take care of your teeth. Take care of your teeth because whenever you are older, you can tell a lot about the age of a person as to how healthy their teeth are. The, any discoloration, any, um, cavities, any, anything, these are all telltale signs of how well we have taken care of our teeth. And the more of, of this that we see that is um, discolored, especially in stained, the, the older that we look. Now this can also be helped with blue-based lipsticks and things of that nature to kind of help brighten your smile. It can all, they can always be bleached and you know there are all these great products on the market but taking care of your teeth and brushing two and three times a day brushing after every meal flossing all of these things are so critical to just the overall health of our teeth but also our smile as we age and making it look so much brighter and happier and more youthful so take care of your teeth um this may be my favorite one on the list. A great way to stay young and to age gracefully is to have sex. I'm not talking about anything dangerous. I'm not talking about anything that makes you uncomfortable. I'm not talking about a stance on premarital or not or celibacy or anything. I'm talking about the health benefits that go 
with having sex because the hormone release that happens is a wonderful anti-aging device. It keeps you young to feel, to just the, the emotional aspects of having an active, healthy sex life are so good for your emotional health and therefore that is going to make you glow and you um, appear younger. And also just keeping your joints moving and and moisturized by the hormone dump that happens whenever we are having sex is just it goes without question that those who are in healthy sexually active relationships age more gracefully and just have a little bit more pep in their step so that makes you look younger even even so all right eat a colorful diet Whenever we uh, eat a, a diet that is high in just processed foods, and I know that this is not new information, but it's it's still something that many of us are are just bad about doing. Don't you love when you're doing your eyeliner and one eye is like, bam, on point, exactly the way you wanted it. And then you go to the second eye and it's like completely off and it's droopy and it looks stupid and it's super super irritating I love that too it's just thrill a minute around here all right so eat a diet colorful in with the foods that you choose so you know really steer clear of the the shelves as much as possible in the grocery store you know stay to the outer edges of the grocery store stay in the fruits the veggies um, I and I am not a vegetarian or a vegan right now, but you know, so I still buy meats and and vegetables and all of that good stuff. I still buy meats and fish and things. But if you are just eat a colorful diet. I'm going off track. Eat a colorful diet. It makes a world of difference again with the hydration. You know, all of these foods are so naturally hydrating. Um, all of these vegetables are naturally hydrating and are just so good for you from a vitamin standpoint, from a hydration standpoint. You just, you can't go wrong with a diet that is full of color and, and void of all of the processed gross stuff that tends to be on the aisles there in the grocery store. So colorful diet will make a world of difference in the function of your body as well as the aging of your body. All right, next one. It's another kind of obvious one, but I can't help it because we're all still so guilty of it. You've got to get sleep. You've got to get sleep. If you want to age gracefully, you have to get a good night's sleep on a consistent basis. And what I am what I, when I research this and whenever I am trying to get myself on track because I am a night owl and a morning person, it's a really rough combo when it comes to actually sleeping. And I don't have anything against sleep. It just, I like being awake and I like doing stuff and I like to, uh, I like to be being productive. And if I'm sleeping, I feel like there's something I'm missing out on. And I've kind of always been that person. But if you get sleep, uh, you will age so much more gracefully. I have to tell a quick story. Whenever I had um, my hysterectomy for my 30th birthday, I, um, for the, like the next week, I essentially slept. I just kind of slept for an entire week. And that was, first of all, crazy because that's something that I never get to do. But I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I promise you, I looked 20. It was amazing. And that was just from one week of actually just taking care and resting. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible, the difference. Now, I, of course, cannot replicate that in my everyday life because, gee, I can't. first of all, I don't have any interest in sleeping all day, but... I couldn't even if I wanted to 
rest as much as I did in that week. But it goes, it just, it drove the point and restfulness is to the aging of our bodies and how fresh and healthy we look. So get some rest, get some rest. Don't do drugs, sleep, don't do drugs. Hey, those two kind of go hand in hand. Like instead of doing drugs, sleep. I can't do that. <gasps> it's time. It's time. Can you believe it's time for Benefit Bang Mascara? Okay. So we're going to talk about not doing drugs while we're talking about um, mascara. I'm pretty excited about this. Ooh, there are even instructions to the mascara. Or at least, I don't know, something. Bigger, badder, volumizing mascara. That's what we want. I'm pretty pumped about this. Okay, you see, now this, this is just pretty, this is just a pretty badass um, container of mascara to begin with. That is, that is really kind of fancy. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, don't do drugs. First of all, you've seen all the before and afters, you know, body on, on life, body on drugs, like all of these celebrities who have turned and now have been just completely memed to death because they look like absolute hell. Just don't do drugs. You know it's, first of all, not a good idea. Second of all, you know, for the most part, it's all illegal. And third of all, it takes your focus away from putting your health in um, in a priority in your life. So it's going to work against you at the time that you're doing, well, at the time that you're doing drugs, at the time that you have an addiction issue, at the time that you are even recre recreationally playing with, with either, you know, illegal or over the counter or prescription or whatever, the drug of choice might be, it takes away from your focus on health at the time that you're doing them, but it also, um, it just ages you more quickly. And so even if you stop uh, participating in this kind of behavior, it still has a long-term effect and makes you look older very quickly. And it, some of those drugs also rob you of your teeth, like, oh, Countless, countless reasons not to do drugs. Okay, let's talk about this. Oh, hello, beautiful. Oh, all right. I always do my lower lash lashes first because then when you look up and do your lower lashes, if the top lashes are wet, then you don't smudge everything. So, Holy moly. Those are some long lower lashes, baby. Don't you love the faces that we all make whenever we put on mascara? Oh, oh that's so good. Oh my goodness, I feel like a baby doll. With, you know, oh my goodness. Okay. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. While I'm doing the top lashes, last, last tip, last Maryland tip on aging gracefully. Um, all these things that you need to start when you're young so that when you're older, they can have the benefits of all of uh, your good caretaking of your body. So please, if you are 20s and watching this, please start all of these things right now. All of them. Don't wait until it's too late because if you if you start when you're 30 or 40 and start to see things changing and shifting and um, aging, it's going to be too late. <laughs> it's just going to be too late. You can still have benefit from doing that kind of stuff and taking action, but you're going to get so much more benefit. I keep using benefit, like benefit. You're gonna get so much more benefit from these tips in aging gracefully if you start them sooner rather than later. All right, let's rock these top 
freaking lashes. I am pumped. I love this mascara wand also because so oh my gosh <gasps> okay and one of the, the girls in the store also told me that not only do your eyes your lashes stay long and beautiful and curled and all this that they don't fall they were saying you know they were saying that so often when we get home at the end of the night that you know, our lashes have kind of drooped and straightened and all that fun stuff. And I don't do like, a, clearly, I don't curl my lashes very often and things like that. Oh my gosh! Oh. But to have them still just bam up at the end of the day would be pretty hard to beat. Anyway, I love this wand that it's so narrow and you can get in all of these little spaces without feeling like you're about to mess up the rest of your face. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I know, okay, hold on. Let me at least brush these up a little bit so you can, uh, you're still going to be able to truly see the comparison, but... Oh my goodness. Oh. Hello. All right, other eye. Oh. Oh. I feel like a baby doll. I know I just keep saying that, but. And this isn't really, I don't feel like I'm any, I'm doing any special anything. Like with my Lash Paradise, I, which I adore, I really start at the root and I dig in and really brush it up or I don't feel like I get as much bang out of it and I love that mascara I always buy the the waterproof because then my eyes can water and have allergy issues and all of this stuff and not go anywhere and I've loved 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 that mascara but if this one ah, this eyelashes these eyelashes are not cooperating as well uh, they're getting kind of clumpy. It's kind of like with the eyeliner, you know, sometimes one eye just does better than the others. These are curling like crazy. Good grief. Chill out. I want you curled without like leaning back on my eyelid. Okay, this one's getting a little bit spidery, but Oh, I'll comb that out a little bit. Oh my goodness, though. And apparently black was the only color, which was fine with me, because clearly that's, that's just what I buy anyway. But this one got like, this one got a little like crazy. But we're going to brush that out a little bit. And I'm doing it from the back so they don't rub up on my eyelid. I think I'm going to still just love this mascara. Okay, so aging gracefully, tips, maintain a healthy weight, use sunblock, moisturize everything, 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 hydrate, take care of your teeth, Eat a colorful diet, have sex, get sleep, don't do drugs. <gasps> Last but not least, how did I forget this one? Always, always, always wash your face before bed. No matter how tired you are, no matter, don't just take a wet washcloth and with water and just wipe your face and think it's clean. Get all of the eye makeup off, get all of the mascara off, get all of the stuff off of your skin, and you will age so much more gracefully. Please, if you start none of these tips when you are in your teens or 20s, please start it. Please start this one. <laughs> it is just critical. So, 
Thank you so much for joining me. I am in love with this mascara. Like, super in love. And, um, I'm going to be recommending it to all of my friends because it's fabulous. It's fabulous. So, I hope that these 10 tips for helping you age more gracefully have helped you. I hope that you will utilize at least some of them if you are not already doing them. And if you're already doing some, utilize more. Do them all. Thank you so much for joining me today. Go out and get this mascara because it's freaking fabulous. And until I see you again, I hope that you are making it a great day.